Hey guys. So today I figured I would do a little Q&A for you guys. Um, a lot of questions that I get on my videos a lot, I don't always answer right in the comment section because I feel like usually I have too long of an ex explanation to put in the comment section. So I write them down and I wrote some down on this card here. Um, so I could just make a video about it addressing your guys' questions. So, I have just a few of them here today and I figured I would film this up for you. I haven't done a QA and a in a really long time, like since the summer. So, yeah. So, the first question is, how do you feel about adults and kids riding ponies? Um, so by ponies, I assume you mean, you know, miniature horses and, you know, small pony breeds. Um... But kids riding them, you know, I don't have any problem with that, obviously. Um, as long as, you know, you're proportional with the horse. If you're a really large child or something riding like a little miniature horse, um, I think it all kind of depends on your size, the pony size, and how long you're going to be riding them. I um, am getting a mini, as you, a lot of you guys know, and... Chloe, actually, she's been on my channel before. I've had to sit on her and whatnot and um, be led around on her and ride her. And she's like a Shetland size, so she's not, she's bigger than a miniature horse, but she's not like a pony size. And, you know, I'm 5'5", 120, 25 pounds. So I consider myself too big for her, but because I'm training her, I also kind of need to ride her, but... I don't ride her for very long. Like, I only ride her for maybe 10 minutes. I'm not going to ride her for, like, an hour at a time or anything. That would be absolutely ridiculous and um, unnecessary. But, like, a child riding her probably would be fine for her for an hour. Um, you know, a 7 or 8-year-old. So, it all depends, I think. I don't think it's funny when I see, like, um, grown women getting on miniature horses or two teenage girls sitting on miniature horses because they think it's so funny and cute and the little pony tries to buck or whatever. I think that's stupid and ignorant and you need to get your head out of your ass. So if you, you know, if you're being responsible about it, then I don't think it's that bad. Um, if you're not going to be riding the horse hardcore all day long or anything, then a few minutes isn't going to hurt the pony. But it also depends on the pony breed because, I mean, halflingers are, I believe, they're like right at the horse pony line, I think. They are they can be considered both, but they are insanely strong horses. Same with Gypsy Vanners. Um, my friend has a Gypsy Vanner pony, and she's probably 13 to 14 hands, like pretty small horse. And my friend Maria, actually, she's, I don't know, 180 pounds. But that little pony carries her all day long, no problems. Like, hardly even breaking a sweat because they're, um, well, Gypsy Vanners in particular are a draft pony. So they are draft bred. It's almost like a draft horse in a miniature horse's body. But that pony is so dang strong. We trail rode for like three hours one day and she was just trucking along like, didn't show any signs of being tired at all. So it all just depends on the variables, but for like mo normal ponies, like no, I don't think it's funny if you're going to be, you know, a 200 pound man. For instance, right now actually, I signed up to play donkey basketball, which I don't know if you guys have that. My school has donkey basketball for the after prom fundraiser. I didn't end up going, but donkey basketball is basically a fundraiser where they, they I don't know whose donkeys they are, some farmers, brings in all their mini donkeys and people try and play basketball while riding donkeys. And most of these people have no idea how to ride, obviously, so they're trying to control the donkeys, but they have like these 200 pound men on these small donkeys. And I mean, donkeys are strong, but like, they're not that strong. Like, not a 200-pound man on this miniature horse donkey. Like, that's just ridiculous. And I don't... I feel like if you have a pony proportional to your size, then it's not a bad thing. Just like regular horses. So, that's kind of my thing. I don't know. I don't think it's terrible. I don't think it's great, but whatever. Do Western saddles fit the same for gated horses? Ugh! So, this topic's kind of a hard one because... 
gated horses and even not all gated horses are the same so i've seen people who ride their tennessee walkers in western saddles perfectly fine their horses don't have any problems um and it doesn't bother them but i've also worked with chiropractors equine chiropractors that have recommended many many times um for adjusting gated horses that people get a gated horse saddle or try riding in an english saddle because a lot of western saddles can be very uncomfortable for a gated horse's back um where i kept luna that girl had a gated tennessee walker and he was bucking at the canter a lot or throwing his head giving little tiny bucks you know at the canter a lot and she said maybe try riding him in an english saddle or try doing english with him rather than putting a heavy western saddle on him because it might be bothering his back so i honestly think it depends on your horse if your horse is showing very much discomfort or being ornery or whatever try going with a different saddle a gated saddle an english saddle whatever i've just heard english saddles typically fit them better i'm not an expert on saddlery or anything but that's what i've heard from chiropractors and whatnot so i would try that how big is your arena so the arena that i work with um starburst and calypso in is actually a really small arena um i don't know if you guys can tell in the videos or not but it's not very big at all I don't even, I don't know what the exact dimensions are. It's not more than, it's maybe 100 feet long, maybe 80 feet long. It's not a very big arena at all. And probably 50 or 60 feet wide, I want to say. I'm not an expert. Maybe it's only more like 30 or 40 feet wide. It's it's not a big arena at all, but Otis makes it work. I mean, when he gets gives lessons he's got two or three horses riding around in there and it's a small arena so um i kind of like it i don't i don't feel like i need a huge arena and mostly because i'm the only one there most of the time i don't ride with other people there um so it's it's not bad keeping horses alone question mark so i don't like keeping horses alone and i think if you have any option not to keep your horse alone go with that option um, horses are herd animals. They're herd animals. They're mentally, mentally programmed to live in herds. They find safety in numbers. So keeping a horse alone is very unnatural. Horses wouldn't do that in the wild or if they had a choice, they would not be by themselves. And I'm that way with actually any animals. Like I have fish, I have hermit crabs. And when I got my hermit crab, I was like, you know what? I'm getting him a buddy because hermit crabs, especially live in like hundreds so i was like i'm not gonna keep him alone in this little tank but same goes with horses i mean horses live in large herds so keeping them alone is just like going against their nature like it's not horses can get very lonely and whatnot and i don't think it's it's right to keep a horse alone for long periods of time um even even if you can't purchase another horse or anything for them get them a goat or something or a cow put them with cows or something because horses are just herd members in general and even if it's not other horses if you can find something else then at least do that for them I just I don't agree with keeping horses by themselves BB actually um, if you're subscribed you might know I keep BB somewhere else during the winter time I don't keep her at my house during the winter for various reasons that I've explained elsewhere but I had the option to take her to my stepsister's house and my stepsister would keep her over the winter for me free of charge. I would just have to provide hay and stuff. But I chose not to do that because for one they were going to put cattle there and I didn't want her eating the cow's grain which can make horses very very sick. But she was going to be by herself and I didn't want to do that because that's not fair to her so i took her to my friend's house i pay a little bit every month for her but she at least gets to be in a herd and be with others and um live naturally so that's my thing i don't like i don't think it's fair keeping horses by themselves so even if you get a friggin goat or something or a pig or whatever at least they have companionship all right so this is going to be rather short um, my last question is, what do you think of Raleigh? So somebody, I don't even remember, somebody commented this. I don't know who they were, but they commented this and I gave them my response and they were like, oh my God, okay, I'm, un I'm unsubscribing. And I was like, 
okay like you asked for my opinion and now you don't like it so you're gonna unsubscribe like okay I don't know how what to do about that but anyways I do like Raleigh um, I think she's a really nice girl I honestly think that me and her could be good friends if I knew her in person I agree with almost everything she talks about um, I definitely agree with um, sorry my phone went off agree with um, you know just a lot of topics that she brings up we have very similar training styles um, both bitless hackamores natural horsemanship and all that kind of stuff so I I don't know why everybody hates her so much I guess um, but I personally agree with almost everything that she talks about and um, I think she's a nice girl so yeah that's my little Q&A for y'all so um thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you guys later let me know if you have any video requests or anything in the comments below or any more questions for my next Q&A thanks for watching bye